Ladies and gentlemen, it's the 18th of May, 2014. This is your video blog of the day. Let me tell you beforehand, you know, bedtime stories just went up. Uh, it's called Your Past, part one and part two. You should watch them because I did them in, in blog form with the girls around, about 30 minutes of some very powerful information, okay? And today I've done a photo shoot, Scorpion King Rising photo shoot. I should turn off that light. And... Uh, Staff meeting, busy day, blah, 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 blah. I want to get the video blog off to you. It's important, okay? Let's take a scenario that happened for me on Instagram, and let's learn from it. Let's learn how to deal uh, with social situations. Here we go. Let me find it. Oh, I'm so prepared. You so prepared? Mm, where the fuck is the video? Where the fuck is the video? Instagram has decided to not show me the video because it's too far back. Oh, I know how to do it. Okay. So I put up a, a video of myself doing uh, a roundhouse kick. I'm looking at it right now. Okay. I wonder if you can see it. Starts with me doing a roundhouse kick, right? I've been kicking for a long time, and I have no uh, uh, lack of confidence. You could say I'm very confident in the way I kick. So somebody commented on my kick, and he says, "You need to work on your stance when you kick." Somebody else tells him, "You're a fool. What's wrong with his stance?" Then I came in, and normally I would attack someone like that and just fucking just have at them or just delete them. But I did something that I thought was very fucking cool that I want to use to teach. I said to the guy who told me I need to work on my stance, I said, um, his name is something Martinez, whatever. I said, and I don't know the fucker, he's just on my Instagram. I said, maybe you're right. Please make a video demonstrating your technique and tag me in it and show me the proper way to do the technique. Thanks. God, it's so fucking smooth of me. So the guy comes back and he says, the kick itself is fine. But after the kick, I notice you have a jerk because you're off balance. Perhaps you should take a half a foot step back or pivot on your left foot to follow through. I answered him and I said, a video demonstration, please. And that was the end of the conversation. A lot to be learned from this. Something that I'm very much applying uh, to my life right now. People can Google how to do a kick. Put your left foot here, hand here, kick here. Listen, motherfucker, show me. Show me how to do it. Okay? And think about all the advice you've been given in your life and you got into an argument here is a prop, well, I don't know if it's a proper response, but here's another way to deal with it. Maybe you're right. Show me. Show me how to do it. Right? Oh, well, you know, you have to be, uh, the way you get girls, this is a good one, the way you get girls is you just, you know, you're, you're just yourself and you just go tell them that you think they're attractive. Show me. Show me. Since you know so much about getting women, show me. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Anybody can talk about it. Anybody could be a fucking expert in their in their in what they're saying, right? Think about that for a second. Think about what I'm just saying right now. How many times have you been given advice, okay? Well, that's not the way. How is it then? Show me. Stop talking about how it should be. Show me with your life. You don't think my roundhouse kick is good? You put up a fucking video because one of two things is going to happen. Either your roundhouse kick is so shitty it is I'm sure or it's so incredible that I'm in awe of what I saw and if I had been in the situation where the dude chose me his kick and I'm like oh my god that is like the fastest strongest kick I've ever seen I would have hit him up given him my number and said teach me the fucking phone huh chill the fuck out so think about right now how many 
arguments you've gotten of people giving you relationship advice. Well, show me in your relationship. Show me in your relationship. Well, you know, you need to go to college. Show me. You went to college. What's your life like? Show me. Don't tell me that's how it's supposed to be. Show me. Let me see it. You see the difference? If you start to question people on the bullshit they tell you, and you question them more than once, and you just were like, okay, well then why is that? Well, why is that? Well, are you going to college? Yeah. Oh, good for you. Why is it good for me? Well, you know, because then, you know, you're going to have a degree. Why, but why is that good for me? Why is it good for me? Give me one reason. Well, why? Because everybody fucking goes? Because I'm supposed to? What about the fact that I'm miserable and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing? Well, you'll figure it out. But that's not good enough. That why well, It's good that I'm going to college because it's some cliche saying that everybody's saying. Fuck your cliche sayings. So when's the big date? What fucking big date are you talking about? You know, when are you going to ask her to marry you? Never, fool. Never. Well, you guys should really get married. Why? So we could destroy our fucking love and our relationship and our passion? So we could destroy, so I could hand my balls over? I'm sorry, that ain't gonna fucking happen. So we could have the fucking government and the church come into my relationship? And here's some advice for anybody gay watching. Stop trying to get people to accept your marriage. Marriage just means what? That the church and the state are now involved in your love life. It's none of their fucking business. It's nobody's fucking business. Do you understand? Show me. Stop talking about it. It's easy to sit on the side and go, oh. <laughs> so if you just told people, well, maybe you're right. Why don't you show me how to do it? And then they started talking and saying, no, no, no. Just show me how to do it. Don't talk about it. Anybody could talk about it. Anybody could talk about it and repeat the bullshit they've been told that doesn't get them anywhere. I want you to show me. I want you to show me how to do it. And then you'll shut up fucking 90% of the people. You shut them up. Shout out to Perla. Shut up. Shut up. That's for Perla. Okay? Think about it. There's no need to argue. Either what you're doing is right or there's a better way to do it. If there's a better way to do it, please don't tell me about it. Just show me. Because if I see it and I see it's better, believe me, I'm the kind of human being that will go out of my way to make myself better. And I'm saying that about me, but I'm really saying that about you also. I assume if you're watching me, you're someone who's involved in your own in your own evolution, in your own taking control of your life, living a better life, helping the people around you. I am C Nation, baby. So you don't have to be told, you just have to be shown. This is why I put on my videos. Here's my Facebook. Here's my Instagram. So you guys can see. So you guys can see. These are my skills. These are my girls. These are my businesses. These are the people that are saying that we're helping them. This is IMC Nation. This is who we are. L looking at it. You don't have to take my words for it. Here it is. Say no fucking sales pitch. So you tell people, show me. You know what? You might be right, show me. And then if they come back and they try to drag you into an argument again, if they're dragging you in an argument for a while, then guess what? Don't go into the fucking argument. Just say, show me. That's not the right way to sing. Then sing. Then sing, motherfucker. Sing. Let me see you sing. No, I'm just saying. I've heard a lot of people who sing better than you. You sing better than me then. You. You're the one giving the fucking advice, right? You goddamn critic. You do it. And you see, if parents had just taken this advice and they had shown their children, their children being us, or if you have children now, take the advice. Show them. Show them how to be honest. Show them how to be strong. Show them how to be respectful. Don't disrespect your child and expect them to respect you. Do you remember that shit? Do you remember growing up being disrespected by your own family and then being told you have to show them respect? Why? Why? Just because you could beat me down? Isn't that what the fuck the world is now? Right? Boo! You have to show me respect. You don't have to show you shit. Oh, here's a gun to your head. Okay, sorry, officer. I'll show you fucking respect. Enforced respect. That's not respect, is it? That's not. It's coerced. It's, 
It's suppressive. It's something that's, that's forced on you. You can't force someone to love you. You can't force someone to respect you. You can't force someone to be loyal to you. Those three things, you cannot force them. They have to be willingly given. Willingly given. You earn them. So you can cut yourself a lot of headache. A lot of headache. Understand? Wouldn't it be so much better if you could keep your life clean and clear of people who have all kinds of opinions and the ones who had an opinion would actually show you a better way to do it so you would actually then listen to them and improve your life or you would see what clowns they are, what fools they are so that you wouldn't waste your time having all of this information in our heads, all these cliche sayings and walking around trying to conform to some, uh, hold on. Trying to conform to some uh, made up idea of right and wrong that somebody else pushed on us. No, show me. You show me. Okay, and I'm saying that so that you could use it so that, I mean, I felt so, so great handling that piece of shit like that, you know, maybe even watching. Listen, if you have a better way of doing the kick, show me. Don't talk about it. Don't say, maybe I should take a half step back, a right step forward, left step back. You try the kick and you put your own advice into the kick and let me see what it looks like. And if it's better, I promise you from the bottom of my heart. that I will take your advice and I'll give you a shout out and even more than that I'll teach you more than the stuff that I know okay I'm going to give a special shout out special shout out if you're watching special shout out to Rome Ramirez Rome Ramirez lead singer for Sublime and I uh, understood today that you've been watching my stuff and uh, you're a fan well I'm a fan of yours so shout out to Sublime I have your shirt and shout out to you for um, fucking seeing truth. Keep doing your shit. All right, everybody. IMC Nation. Peace.